nine-year-old untouchable boy beaten to death by upper caste teacher. Really quickly before we dive into this news, I want to say that we're going to be getting into both sides of the story, okay? Because there's a lot that's under contention. And I also want to say that we use the phrase untouchable here. I know it's not politically correct, but only because more people outside of India will actually know what it means. Like people don't know what Dalit means. So just for the title, that's what we use. Anyways, um, on July 20th in the district of Jalore, Rajasthan, Indra uh, Meghwal, a Dalit or lower caste student studying in the third grade, was beaten severely by an upper caste school teacher. Allegedly, the cause of the beating was that Indra had drunk from a pot of water that belonged to the upper caste teacher, thereby defiling it. On August 13th, after weeks of seeking medical treatment in different hospitals, the boy succumbed to his injuries. The victim's parents said the boy had severe wounds on his eye and was bleeding from an ear. He couldn't, be, he couldn't seem to move one side of his body. The perpetrator, 40-year-old uh, Chail Singh, was soon arrested after the boy's death and charged with murder. Indra's father noted that the child didn't know that the pot he drank from was only meant for his upper caste teacher. The victim's family also claimed that the state administration had forcefully conducted a quick funeral for the child. The family also accused the local police of attacking them in an attempted cover-up. Numerous government officials have offered the resignations following the incident, denoting their shame and their inability to prevent such an atrocity. It is important to note that many locals from the community contest the narrative of the victim's family, with students reporting that in their years of attending the school, all students and staff drank from the same water tank. The Print India obtained access to the boy's previous medical records that showed he had suffered from a long-term ear infection for many years before the alleged assault. So this is an extremely important story to talk about because this happened during the same week that celebrated India's 75th year of independence, India's 75th birthday. And for many people, this was deeply symbolic of where India is at in its 75th year. Like, it, it caused outrage across, outrage and just unbelievable shock across the country. Um, and in a way, because frankly, like, uh, atrocities against Dalits, like, happens constantly in India, like straight up constantly. But to see something this bad, this flagrant, this brutal, literally the same week of, of this major milestone of celebrating the national project that is India, it brought such deep shame and remorse and just disgust for so many people. And I think it really started a national conversation about, like, caste consciousness again for many people. Um, so there's, this was a major, major story. And there has continued to be so much fallout from this story that I don't even think we can cover it all today. Um, like Satya is saying, this was a new low even for India standards. And yeah, Shakespeare brought up something exactly what I wanted to say. He said, by the way, almost 100 years ago, on Bedkar did, um, I know I'm going to say this wrong, Satyagar, to help people drink water and we are still here. So when I first saw this, I straight up saw red, I'm going to be honest. And I was like, did Ambedkar fight for the water rights of millions for nothing? Literally almost exactly 100 years ago. Like, it, in, it just... It, I think it's caused a lot of people to reflect on how entrenched casteism is within Indian society and how brutal it can be. Because a lot of times it's just frankly ignored and not talked about at all by mainstream media. Um, and it's, it's caused, yeah, 
I'm going to make a comparison and I, I don't think it's entirely accurate, but this is kind of how I was thinking about it today. In the same way that the murder of George Floyd caused America to have a renewed conversation with itself about like the legacy of anti-black racism and police brutality within like my country, I've seen kind of a renewed push for a national conversation again in India that I think is very interesting and very needed. Um, and so this was extremely, extremely important to talk about. Um, Armin, what was your initial reaction? Well, I scrolled down, so I, I saw something that we can't show here on live. And this boy, like, if you guys see the pictures, he suffered a lot. Like, this is disgusting. What was that? Oh, I've seen the like videos. It's horrible. You've seen the videos? Why of him you... just like in his hospital bed, like nonverbal. Oh my god, it's f horrific. Okay, well, what's that? I mean, I, I I didn't understand. Like you said, there's because I was trying to highlight relative comments in live chat as well. What's the alternative narrative here? Okay, so there's a lot of things that are contested now about this story, and. I'm just bringing this up for the sake of being transparent and wait, can you actually star a lot of these comments? Cause I want to dive into them instead of just having, um, Oh, I didn't know which one's to star. Okay. Okay. The juicy ones that you're highlighting, of course. Um, <laughs> so, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to highlight as much as possible, but yeah, go ahead. Um, so I have a friend who often sends me a lot of good stories from India and I believe he's like kind of a more left-leaning person like me. And what I appreciate is that we're not the kind of lefties that are just going to run with a narrative just because like I really try to look at things critically. And he sent me this information. He said, hey, I saw that you're going to cover this story in the news. I want you to know about that there are some contentious narratives here. And so I watched this video that the Print India put out where they go to this village where this happened and actually do some investigation. And they're on the ground really digging into what's happening, like real reporting. And so there's a female journalist and she's interviewing children. She's interviewing people from the community. And they're saying, yeah, we have this like big water tank where we all drink from. I've, I've been at this school for 10 years. We've all the staff, all the students, we all drink from this same water tank. Like, um, have other people who knew the teacher saying that I've known him for 40 years. We've never, he's never been accused of anti-caste discrimination before. And then the print India also pulled up the medical records of this boy who seems to have been treating, suffering from some kind of ear infection for a number of years, it seems. Now, I don't remember the medical details well enough to repeat them back accurately to you. So I'm not even going to attempt but they dove into how certain injuries that he had that were seen in this video in particular could be caused by advanced stages of this ear infection. And um, that the, according to a different version of the story, it was this boy and another classmate were arguing over like a coloring book and the teacher reprimanded them and slapped them both. So they were slapped, but according to that other boy, not hard enough to cause this level of injury. And of the other people in the village or in the community have put out a statement basically rejecting the family's claims. Now, there are a lot of people who are saying, like, yeah, like what Forever Stormy is saying. Basically, alternative narratives are usually cover-ups by upper caste, but we should still discuss it to make sure that we aren't getting duped. Exactly. So there is a part of me that is still skeptical like because everyone has an interest well, in making this not seem like this is a caste based issue. i still don't understand the alternative narrative how did why was this kid, uh, kid beaten to death so like in in the alternative narrative he was not i mean we know he was slapped but he yeah. already had a severe ear infection that had basically been untreated or poorly treated and not cured for years Wait, and then he basically the... died of an advanced ear infection this okay, I'm I'm scrolling down again. This kid has 
his face swollen, his eye is swollen. This is not just an ear infection. No, so based on what I was, the, what the Print India reported, and I'm no doctor, so I cannot accurately repeat this back to you, but they're, they're like absent abscesses that can happen basically in the area, like because your ears and mouth and nose are all connected, right? So in those areas behind there, it can cause these pustules basically mm. from the infection to come forward and make your eye bulge out and all this stuff. So, and there are some medical records that point more in that direction. Now the family is all contesting this. They say that's not true. He didn't have an ear infection, all of these things. It's really hard to know what to believe. And this is all important to talk about. Let me want to stress this. Regardless, this is extremely important to talk about because this teacher is being tried under the Schedule Act, Scheduled Cast and Scheduled Tribes Atrocities Act. For those who are not aware, this is an act within India that is basically an attempt to better enforce laws that um, prevent abuse of Dalits, Adivasis, tribal people, the lower castes. So, because you know, untouchability was officially outlawed and made unconstitutional in India, but throughout India's history, it has been incredibly difficult to actually enforce that. So the Scheduled Tribes and Scheduled Castes Act is an attempt to bolster the enforcement of these atrocities, but there is usually a multitude of barriers in actually getting the community and, and, and having the police recognize these incidents as atrocities. So it's all very complicated. But because that he has been charged or is facing charges under this act, the motive of what happened is extremely important because it's not good enough to say, oh, the perpetrator was upper caste, the victim was lower caste or Dalit. You have to say that the perpetrator did this because the victim was Dalit, which is a very important distinction. Do you follow? Mm. Yes. Okay. Um, I've started some comments. Uh, do you want to read them and respond to them? Yeah. Um, so Darko is saying, please tell me the teacher is going to get life in prison for this. Like I said, there was a lot that needs to be dissected, a lot more that needs to be established. We shall see. I don't know, actually know if... Um, the charges he faces. I don't know if they carry a sentence of life imprisonment. I don't know. Um, and Darko was saying, was he assaulted by the teacher or not is the only question worth asking. Yes. So he... Th this Wait, can you read that again? You got, you got cut for a second. Your mic. Darko was asking, the... was he assaulted by the teacher or not is the only question worth asking. Actually, I, there, I think there are multiple questions worth asking. If he was assaulted by the teacher, was it because he was lower caste? Was it something else? That the motive is very important when being charged under this act. Um, uh, Higgs Boson is saying, let's just hear alternative narratives, not silence them, just because I want to hear the nut jobs defending it. I, in, in this case, it is very difficult for me to tell what's going on here, frankly. And there's also the huge language barrier in me actually pursuing information about this. So it's hard for me to tell if the alternative explanations do have some legitimacy or if it is just further cast bias. It's it's difficult to tell at this point. Um, Mogambo is saying, there is an audio recording of the teacher accepting that he lost his cool and beat him and was apologizing. I haven't heard this audio, but beat him to what extent? Because there was the other boy who said that they both got slapped. So that is like a beating, that is an assault to the extent that one could die from their injuries, that's not fully established. Um, and uh, let's see. Yeah, Cosmic Heathen is saying they always do this. They burn the bodies hastily to destroy all the evidence and the state is involved in all of this. Again, this, this is all allegations from the family. Mm. But doesn't the family have a control over when they burn the body? Like, they, can you just come like, oh, oopsie, we burn your your kid fast, faster than Um, you. Theoretically, but no, the state will come forward and the police will forcibly cremate bodies all the time. This happened multiple times, especially in the Hathras uh, RAPE case that was infamous that happened a few years ago. Does it happen to everybody or just to like special cases like this? You know what I mean? Like, it happens you most frequently in my 
anecdotal observation to victims that are lower caste mm. or young women. Okay. You better say we good, covered your goodbye two really soon. big stories a few years ago because where this was like gonna... consistently happening. Like, I don't know, when my mom died, like, we had so much time before they buried her, right? Like, imagine, like, okay, fast, 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 they're going to bury it. Like, the police is coming. They're going to burn it, actually. So it's kind of like, I don't know. It's kind of... Imagine no, you already... The police, are... will, they, the police will actually go take the body, burn it themselves before the investigation Amazing. is over. Wow. Okay. Keep the family away from the body as they're cremating it. Shut down and put the entire village under martial law, essentially. Prevent journalists from entering so that they can't investigate. No, Aximara, we don't know. So Aximara is saying that the state destroyed the body. I didn't know this. Definitely malice involved. No, we don't know. Like, this is the allegation that they, the family is saying this, right? The family is saying that they, I mean, I mean, if you want to play the, the odds, like, if you want to talk about the odds, like, I would right now go with what the family is saying over what other people are saying. So, but you, again, you can never be sure about these things, right? Yeah, it's really difficult because due to <laughs> just who I am as a person and like I of course want, it's my impulse to jump full force into this, but I still have to hold myself back to a certain extent, especially when talking to you guys as an audience and talking about things responsibly, right? Mm. But I think it goes without saying that if the allegations of the family are true, like how we feel about it and our opinions about it, I feel like go without saying. Like this needs yeah. to be condemned in the strongest possible terms. And I think, I don't know, like I hope it causes some serious reflection, but more than reflection, it needs to cause actual change. And then I mean since this happened, a lot of more reports out of Rajasthan of really bad castus abuses have continued to pile up and come out. A lot of the worst castus abuses I've heard of come out of Rajasthan. I don't know why. Yeah. Um, guys, this is, by the way, why our channel doesn't grow. Because in order for your channel to grow, you have to go full on anti the, the group that you're that your audience wants for you to go after, right? So we're like, people are like, oh yeah, like F Islam, you know, these people are scary and they want us to go 100% against them, right? And we're like, okay, Islam sucks. However, and then we have like these discussions here, like people are like, not that many people are into that. People want you to go all out. Then people are like, oh my God, you're going after Hindutva and Hinduism. And like, oh yeah, like go after Hindutva, I'll destroy casteism, everything is casteist. But then we like have cast like, news reports that could be cast as them. And we were like, yeah, but maybe it's not. Like, we don't know. We're uncertain. We're skeptical. And people are like, yeah, but I want you to, like, I want you to go all out. I want you to go, I want to fight. I want to go against, against these people, especially because people are frustrated. And then we don't provide that here. And that's why, I think that's one of the reasons why we're not as attractive to a lot of people. Like, they, people want to hate on something, like maximally hate on something. Like, no skepticism. No if or buts, uh, just go all out. So, so subscribe if you if you are one of the minority group of people who enjoy um, some skepticism, um, but with, when it comes to you know our, when it comes to news and activism, then support us or tell other people who might be interested in that that we that's what we do here, right? Um, I yeah. think. I don't know. I really don't know about what to say about the rest of the story. It's so, it's so bad. It's so bad. Yeah. I think, I don't know. In a way it was kind of, I, I know that there were a lot of people who not only were just defending the teacher straight up on the base of his, of his cast and no other reason, which is not good. And there were a lot of people even celebrating the death of this boy which is horrific. Um, Wait, who's celebrating? I don't know. There are what people the celebrating the death of this boy. Wait, what? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, the castus who? brain rot is real. No, nah, I mean, uh, wait, can you show that? Like, uh, what the hell? Do we have mm -hmm. examples? Okay. I don't, I mean, I don't have examples right now. But it can definitely be found. The defense of this 
is yeah. No, oh, okay. No, the defense of oh, like no, defense I, of yeah. There's also mm. like celebration. It's oh, horrific. celebration. Okay, that's like that's like a level of evil that I can't even comprehend right now. And but there, but in some ways, there has been a lot of like unity around this from people across political spectrums in India. On the other hand, so of in in condemning this and being like, God damn, we need to do better. This is a freaking national embarrassment that we've been around for this long, and this is what we're dealing with. Hmm. By the way, Darko just uh, gifted five memberships. Thank you so much, Darko. Oh my gosh, Darko, thank you. That's very sweet. Thank you. So who, yeah. Um, yeah, thank you so much for the Darko. We do need the support. Um, I still I, okay, can't I, figure out how you gift memberships. <laughs> I'm as, By the way, with regards to what you're saying, I'm just going to be like assuming that that's just like a handful of people. Less, you can't count that's what you want to think because you're a good person no like i'm assuming that okay let's just be fair here i'm assuming that most ca even cast as people when they say when when they want to fight the story they will like say fake news not like yes that dollar like this dollar deserved it like anything like the, because he drank like the water like i would think like they would like no this didn't happen or something like that like, I'm assuming that's the vast majority of them. Like, that would be a disgusting. Like, those, the people, if anybody, guys, can you, conf anybody from in, in the live chat from India, can you confirm that there are people who are, sell who would be, do, have you been exposed to anybody who would celebrate something like this? Let me see if in the live chat anybody can confirm that. Um, yeah. I don't know. Anyways, do you want to read any, any of the other live chats or should I get the next stage? Um, Let's go to the next news. Okay. Let me actually, I, I just wanted to give, like, okay, so no, no man is saying no. Um, Sh Shriyash is saying, here's a narrative I heard for the Hothros what? case. Uh, she's Very lying. infamous yeah. rape and cover up yeah. case that we talked about a few years ago. Basically, okay, the narrative so oh, she's lying. Okay, so Shaky Bay is saying at least they want to support. Yeah, I know there's a lot of support for the teacher. I just think like the support for the teacher comes in the form of like he's our cast and he didn't do this. Like there's a there's some form of tribalism. Like oh yeah, let's def go defend our upper fellow upper caste person. But well, not if that. If he did it, it was justified. Really? Like are you serious? Like I I can't believe that that's actually a narrative. I think like if the upper caste want to defend the upper caste teacher, the defense would be he didn't do this. It wouldn't be like oh yeah he did it and it was justified. Like I don't I don't believe that that's actually a narrative. Like you know that I, there are people that still openly like support untouchability and advocate for it, right? I understand that, but killing like beating a boy to death, I don't I can't comprehend that being a thing. Um. Yeah, I, I just can't like I don't know. Uh, yeah, so friendly Hindus are saying not celebrating, but yeah, like what Susanna said. Some people even in Twitter support untouchability. Yes, that's that I can that I know. Okay. Mm, oh yeah, this is oxymoron saying there are radical Hindus who celebrated the two thousand two R A P E uh, preparation. Uh, I've been thinking about covering that case. Yeah, okay. That was really important. That was okay. crazy. Okay, I'm just assuming that they are just like a fringe of a fringe or else. No, like... the P the the BJP government of that local state, I think it was UP, released eleven men who were charged with gang RAP -ing a Muslim woman. They released them on a technicality, and the local VHP was there to sh cover them in garlands and marigolds at the, the vhp like headquarters this mm -hmm. isn't mm -hmm. <laughs> it doesn't like it was, oh good right of course obviously yeah mm. it's crazy okay okay yeah atheist republic needs your help we've been the target of many legal attacks by hindu nationalists ever since our founder armin Avabi blasphemed against hindu deities we have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship.
Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.